Hey everybody, KC here, and welcome to Home Cooking. I know I've been gone for a minute. Did you miss me? Well, I missed you. As a matter of fact, I missed all the new viewers that I've gotten since I've been gone. Do you know that I am now at 604 subscribers? Can you believe it? And I thank each and every one of you. And for anybody else that's tuning in for the first time, hey, join the family. Hit that subscribe button down there below. Don't forget to click the like button and the notification bell. Without that, you'll never know when I'm coming at you with a new recipe. And there's always a new recipe, trust me. Today, we're going to dabble in a little bit of Louisiana cuisine. We're going to do that Creole thing. And I'm going to show you how to make what has fast become one of my favorite seafood dishes. It's called shrimp etouffee. Oh, I know that sounds fancy. Yeah, but the bottom line is this. It is a stepped up version of a shrimp gumbo. But it gets better because it's savory. That gravy is all that. It is the most delicious thing that you will roll around your mouth. You're gonna love it, trust me. And if you wanna know how I do it, well, stay tuned. Grab a bit of this and a dash of that. Mix it up with love. That's Okay, we have chicken broth, obey seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, a packet of Splenda or sweetener of your choice, cayenne pepper, black pepper, Casey's blessing, chicken seasoning. We'll talk about that later. We have our Trinity Girls of onion, bell pepper, and celery. I have a pound of clean shell devein shrimp. I have a third cup of flour and a quarter cup of canola oil. We're going to heat our oven top on a medium high. We're going to get the canola oil in the skillet, get it all heated up. Let's see if it's ready. Oh yeah, water's dancing. Now, the basis of this recipe is called a roux. A roux is nothing but that flour and that canola oil mixed together on a medium high heat until it is smooth and brown. Not quite there yet. It needs to look like that. That's a copper color, about the color of a penny. And it's done. It's ready for what? My Trinity Girls. And we're gonna get the Trinity Girls in there and we're gonna let them soften up a bit with all of our seasonings. And we're gonna stir that up into the roux. Now I'm gonna tell you, this is gonna get to looking a little ugly in a minute because that roux is adhering to those vegetables and that seasoning, but it's all good because after it looks like that, we're gonna smooth it all out by adding some heated chicken broth. And we're gonna do half of that into the skillet. And we're gonna start to stir. And we're gonna continue to stir until all those lovely vegetables and seasonings incorporate into that chicken broth and it kind of smooths out that roux. Now, we're on a heat that's really high at this point, so we're gonna bring it down a level because it's thickening up that roux just a bit much. Let's get the other half of that chicken broth in there and then it's gonna get to the consistency we want it to be. We're gonna continue to stir. We're gonna get all these lovely vegetables and seasonings all incorporated into the roux and into the chicken broth. And I promise you, it's gonna be all good. It's gonna be as smooth as a baby's bottom, don't you see? And now it's ready for the Casey's Blessing I was telling you about. This is a new seasoning that I have put together and it's gonna be available pretty soon. It takes your food, not just chicken, but all your food to a level of flavor that you will not believe. You don't wanna miss out on this. I'm gonna keep you posted. Now, that roux is ready for the shrimp. We got the shrimp in. We're gonna bring up our cooktop just a little and we're gonna cook the shrimp for about 15 minutes until it looks like this. It's no longer clear, it is opaque, and that means it's ready for plating that puppy up. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> we got that on some white rice and see, this is the difference between gumbo and etouffee. That luscious, savory gravy. Ooh, let's taste, taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! This is so good. I am telling you, I feel like I have stepped out into Mardi Gras. If you like this recipe, hit the like button. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so you'll be aware when I'm doing another recipe. And as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And until next time, you know what I wish you. I wish you love, peace, and a whole lot of joy. See you on the flip side. Bye-bye. That's no good.